Hello, it is Christmas. Okay, well, kind of, not really, but I'm building a Christmas house, so it's Christmas in my mind. I've got a sweater on, I'm ready, and this house that I built today is literally inspired by a gingerbread house. I found a picture of the gingerbread house at one of the Disney resorts in Orlando. They have this giant gingerbread house at the Grand Floridian. It's real, it's made of actual gingerbread. And I was like, you know what? That's kind of a funny looking house. I kind of like it, it's pretty. Let's build that. <laughs> and so I looked at that picture and I was like, okay, we're gonna try and build this gingerbread house, sort of. Like we'll take the shape and be inspired by it and build that in The Sims. And I kept saying, I was like, this house is gonna look like Christmas exploded on it. And that's what I did. It is red and green, there's lights everywhere. It is, <laughs> it's a little bit uh, scary, to be honest with you. It kind of hurts your eyes to look at at times, but that's okay because it's really, it's beautiful. It looks really beautiful. <laughs> I had a lot of fun building this. I, I enjoy getting to do silly things in The Sims sometimes and like trying to take advantage of all the items that we have from seasons. There's all kinds of good like Christmas decorations. And you know what? Christmas is a little bit different this year. I know a lot of us go and see family a lot of the time. I, I can't do that this year. I know many of you can't either. And so I miss my grandma and I wanted to build a Christmas house. <laughs> so I did just that. I'm in a really good mood right now because I just finished watching my friend Dr. Lupo's stream uh, and he just raised $2.3 million for St. Jude in the last 24 hours. I was a part of the stream a little bit. I had like an, a one hour time slot, but he as a whole on, on his stream during the last day or so, raised $2.3 million for St. Jude. They're a children's research hospital here in the US. They do so many amazing things. They help so many people. And I've been like sitting here crying, like so impressed by Dr. Lupo and his community and the fact that like people on Twitch and, and just games in general raise that much money for such a wonderful cause. I just, I'm in a really good mood right now. I'm really happy. I'm so impressed with Dr. Lupo and I just, it's a good day. Today is a good day. So I hope that you enjoyed this ridiculous build. Like I said, it kind of hurts your eyes a little bit to look at, but that's okay. And when I say it's bright red and green, I mean it is bright red and green. I did a couple weird things with the exterior. You'll see that there's not actually a foundation. Instead, it's a platform. I did this once before on my shell challenge build. I used a platform instead of a foundation because I liked the idea of being able to have like a sunken living room more easily. And this way you can have like kind of multiple heights of like foundations in front of the house for landscaping and stuff. It probably didn't end up being that necessary. But I tried it, I was trying something new, and this way the, the walls are actually like slightly taller than short wall height, but slightly smaller than medium wall height because of the, the platform, but it's not worth doing for a house like this. Although I did do like a split level living room kind of thing, so it looks kind of cool. The house has a really big living room, but really big kitchen and dining space. It's got three bedrooms upstairs, so it's a fully functional house. I mean, you could sleep probably, I mean, if you wanted to, like two couples and then two children. So you could have six Sims staying here. But like I said, I'm not really sure why you would want to stay here. I was kind of pretending it was Santa's house, but there's not really anything Santa related except for Christmas decorations. I mean, it's got like a giant Christmas tree in the front yard and there's like, you know, red and green stuff everywhere, but otherwise it's not like it screams like Santa's workshop or whatever. I didn't do any of that. There is a kid's bedroom that's full of toys. In my head I was like, maybe it's Santa's grandkids <laughs> coming by to hang out and play with the toys in the, in the room. You know how, I don't know what your grandparents' house is like, but before my grandma sold her house, she used to have one of the bedrooms had like a dollhouse in it and like a giant teddy bear and it was like the kid's room <laughs> and there was like some toys in it. They had a play kitchen, which I I used to be obsessed with. Like, I loved that play kitchen and the dollhouse my grandpa actually built. Like, it was a nice thing. I don't know what happened to any of those toys. My grandpa died and they sold the house a few years ago. And I don't know what happened to those toys, but I kind of wish I had the giant teddy bear. It looked like Blarfy. I don't know what we named it. I used to like, <laughs> I used to like push it down the stairs. I realized that sounds really dumb, but I, <laughs> I don't know why. But like, my siblings and I used to like throw this giant teddy bear down the stairs and see what would happen to it. Sorry, Blarfy. I don't know. We were kids. Kids do dumb things. But this house kind of has a room like that that I picture the kids would stay in when they come to visit. And there's like giant snowmen outside. Like, I really had a lot of fun decorating this and just trying to make it the most ridiculous thing. I did struggle with the color scheme of the outside because I wanted to do the red, like, windows and stuff. And then I was like, could we do green walls or is that too much? So you'll see, I, I get to that eventually. I try to put green walls and then I was like, you know what? This looks 
horrible. We want it to be at least like a tasteful, <laughs> a tasteful looking thing, right? I mean, it's a little bit horrible anyway, but we don't want it to be ugly. Like if Vixella wouldn't be proud of this, then it's not good enough. So I ended up giving it brown paneling on the outside and I was like, you know, it's inspired by a gingerbread house. So there's brown paneling and then the red like windows and accents, which is a little bit weird, but I think it works out. I think it makes sense, especially when you think about how it's like inspired by a gingerbread house. I think it works in the end. I also tried to like switch the lot it was on because the lighting, I was building it in Mount Komorebi and I love Mount Komorebi. It's a very beautiful world. The snowy part of the mountain is so fun, but the lighting is so bad to build up here. So I complain about this all the time for like so many different lots because I like to build houses on lots that have the sun shining facing the front of the house. When the sun's from the back of the house, it has all these horrible shadows and the lot just looks really bad. Like there's so many lots that are just unusable. Like I never build in Del Sol Valley because of that. Like all the big mansion lots in Del Sol Valley, the sun is shining from such weird directions that the front of the house is always covered in shadows. And it's just impossible to like build there without it looking horrible. And so I just don't build there. I build a new crest a lot because there's just good lighting there. But these lots have that shadow issue as well. The sun's coming from behind the house for most of the day or like kind of from the side of the house. So there's always just weird shadows on the house and the front always looks kind of dark and weird. But I tried to switch the lot and it looks like all of them are like this. <laughs> the sun is always coming from the back, which is fine. I wish that you could change that though. I don't know how practical that would be, but like this really determines where I build my houses in the game. And I only build a new crest because like that that line of houses, that one street with like all those lots next to each other, the, the lighting is good there. So I always build there because the sun is always shining on them so that you can build and have the house look nice from the front. Cause that's a big deal. Like the house looking like really gross and shadowy, especially on a speed build, it's just kind of ugly to look at. And it's dark and like, it's hard to see the colors properly and stuff. I don't know. I just don't like it too much. So I complain about that all the time. But that's why um, I was struggling with where this lot was because I, I feel like I couldn't see the colors right. And also at nighttime because of the snow being so like reflective, the house looks so weird because the snow was so bright but the house was so dark. So I was trying to add extra lights and stuff to it. But you'll see I put a giant Christmas tree, surrounded it with presents and then put a train set around the tree in the front yard, which I thought was so adorable. I think it makes so much sense for this kind of house too, to have this giant tree and the presents and the train set. I've never actually had like a train set around a Christmas tree before, but like all those Christmas films always have that, like a little train set around the tree. So I, I mean, it's a thing. It's not my thing, but I, it happens. So <laughs> I did that. Do you ever have that? Do you have that? Let me know in the comments. What are, what are your holiday traditions? Not even just Christmas, just in general. What are your favorite holiday traditions? Because I, I personally think Christmas is my favorite holiday, but that's partially because I usually get to see my grandparents, not this year. But my grandparents live in Illinois, um, and I always like going up there to see them. But um, <laughs> not this time, not today. Actually, later today, I'm going to my mom's house, and we're going to like bake cookies and have a Zoom call with my grandparents and have pretend Christmas this evening. So I've got my sweater on, like I'm ready to go. <laughs> I am excited to decorate cookies. I'm just a little bit sad. It just, it kind of sucks not seeing your family. I haven't seen my grandparents since last Thanksgiving. Um, obviously this, this year has been horrible for everyone, but my grandparents are kind of old. Like my grandma turns 90 in March and I just, I miss them and I'm sad that I can't see them and it just, it sucks. So I, I really feel for all of you who are having that problem as well. It did, it's a sad time. <laughs> this year has been horrible. Speaking of not seeing people you care about. So my, my boyfriend and I are long distance. He lives in the UK and the past few years I've gone to see him. We haven't spent Christmas together, but I've gone to see him like pre-Christmas. So I would like finish my exams like December 10th and then fly there and then spend like a week there like right before Christmas and we would do like Christmas and then give gifts and things like in person pre-Christmas and like go to Winter Wonderland in London and like do you know all of that um, except this year obviously we can't see each other for Christmas and so we mailed each other like gift boxes like a bunch of random like presents so we had this idea that is kind of lame but it was really fun where we had like a list of things like themes for a gift like something game related and like favorite candy and like a toy for our pets and like stuff like that and then we had to get a gift for each of those little categories and then put it in the box. Well, it wasn't like expensive gifts. I mean, I had like a candle and a hoodie and like a dog toy for him and like some Hershey's chocolate. 
put it all in my box, you know, went to the post office, um, cost $131 to ship it at the post office, which is cheap because places like UPS, FedEx, like $300 it would be to ship it, which is absurd. So I paid the like 130 at the post office, sent it off, all good. A week later, it shows up at my door again, and it says like, return to sender, country does not exist or something. And I don't, un like, I checked the address like a million times because I was paranoid about this. Everything was right. I still have no idea how that happened. Because like, what, United Kingdom? Like, what do you mean country doesn't exist? Whatever. So it came back, I cried a lot, put it back, went back, shipped it again. It made it there this time. Nothing was different, but it made it there this time. Um, well, it gets there. And Dan gets an email that's like, hey, you have to pay $212 in like import taxes on this box. Must I remind you that this box has like a hoodie and like some candy, like a stuffed duck. Like I, I got a crocheted duck for him. It's got like toys. Like <laughs> It's not like it's expensive gifts. The $212 is like twice the cost of the box. Like there, there is not that much expensive stuff in there. Well, he has to pay $212 import taxes on it. So I paid to ship this box twice and then he had to pay $212 on it just to get it delivered to him once it got there. Well, it got there. It was very fun. We opened the gifts. My cat got some new toys. It was great. His box got here just fine. No issues. Mine, absolute nightmare to get there, but it made it. <laughs> <laughs> it just was like the million dollar box. I mean, this is, we're talking like $500 Hershey's chocolate. I hope it was worth it. Nobody even likes Hershey's chocolate. I said it as a joke because like British people like hate Hershey's chocolate. And then end up costing like $500. Anyway, so I just, <sighs> Christmas is not um, how we all plan. I know this whole year, holidays all year have not really been what we were expecting. It just kind of sucks to be apart from your loved ones at times like this, especially when it costs like so much money to, to mail presents. And for what? This is why we haven't done this in the past. He sent me a gift box of things for my birthday this year with like a bunch of like candy in it again. But like, apparently it's fine to ship things from the UK. Just shipping to the UK, not good. <laughs> We've been together for like three years. This is the first time I've mailed him something. Usually when I buy him gifts, I'll like buy it from a UK website and then send it to him because then it's like cheaper to ship because when you buy things from the US and pay for UK shipping, it's like, that'll be $50, please. <laughs> <laughs> like his brother bought a t-shirt from the US recently, same thing, like $20 shipping for a t-shirt, and then he had to pay import taxes on it, and the taxes were more than the cost of the shirt again. So it was like a, ended up being like a 100 or something dollar shirt, like, <laughs> and for what? It was a t-shirt. I just, I, mm. anyway, could be worse but we had our gift boxes. I got these earrings. I'm wearing them again today because <laughs> I was on Dr. Lupo's stream last night and I was really nervous about it because there was gonna be like a bunch of strangers in his chat. He had like 30,000 viewers and I wanted to feel pretty on his stream. So I <laughs> wore my new earrings. I don't usually wear earrings that much because I like mess with them a lot. I pull on them a lot and then I hurt myself. And so I, <laughs> I, didn't, I don't usually wear earrings unless it's like a special occasion, but I like these. So I put them on again. They're not expensive earrings. They're from Etsy. <laughs> I bought a lot of gifts from Etsy this year for my family. Like I mentioned that crocheted duck that I bought for Dan, bought that on Etsy, bought a mug from Etsy for him. Like <laughs> it's fun to buy things from small businesses like that. It's nice to support them. And then you get cool like custom things, you know, it's way better this way. Forget Amazon. We don't need those people. Jeff, no. Jeff Bezos, more like Jeff No. I'm sorry, that was a dumb joke. The house is coming along though, as you can see. Uh, we've got a bunch of furniture here. The rooms are very cheery and bright. I honestly, I'd like to come into this house. I think the red and green is a bit much, but like all of the garland and trees everywhere, it's really pretty. Like, you know it's cozy in here. Santa definitely lives in here. Or maybe like Santa's cousin. Cause Santa needs a workshop. This one doesn't have a workshop. Maybe it's Santa's cousin. Yeah, that may, yeah. Santa's cousin lives here. You don't often think about Santa having a family, do you? <laughs> I mean, obviously like Mrs. Claus, but you don't really think about like, oh, Santa might have a brother or like a cousin, you know, like Santa probably has like extended family. They never get any recognition though. It's kind of rude. He just goes up in the North Pole and does his thing. Okay, also, you know how you can put like photo widgets on your phone and then it like shows featured photos every day? Um, today, I opened my phone and there was a little picture in the top left corner of me crying. And it was like, on this day last year, I don't need this from you. 
<laughs> what are you doing to me? And then Snapchat had this like, look at your memories from this year, which there's barely any. I don't even use Snapchat really, but I opened it up and it was like, look at your memories from this year. And it goes, it started off like any other year. And it showed me this picture. You can't even see it. This is a picture of me with my dog crushing me, <laughs> which makes sense. Yeah, I, I agree. It started off like any other year with my dog crushing me, but that made me laugh a lot. My parents have three big dogs, three Rotties, <laughs> and that's a picture of Mako sitting on me, leaning on me, and my head picking up like, hello? <laughs> I'm still here, but I yeah, we've got three big lap dogs. They're not lap dogs They're very large, but they like to be lap dogs and they will sit straight on you whenever I go home My dog captain he does not leave my side He like doesn't because I, I don't live at home anymore, right? So he misses me and it's kind of sad But I'll go home and he like won't let me out of his sight He'll follow me around everywhere and I'll like sit on the floor to pet him And he'll come up and sit on my lap on the floor like he'll come up and sit on me on the couch Like he's <laughs> he's very needy whenever I'm at home because he, he like doesn't want me to leave which makes me feel really bad that I don't live there anymore, and I'm like, I'm sorry, Captain, I miss, I miss you too, buddy. I really miss you too, but I, it's really sweet. It's nice to have animals that love you. It makes you feel very special. <laughs> I don't know about you, but like my cat choosing to like sleep on me, it makes- I've had her for like 12 years. It's not new. Like, Snap and I have been friends for a long time, but whenever she sleeps on me, I'm like, this is a blessing. Like my- this cat has chosen me. She trusts me. I, I really enjoy that. It makes me feel good about myself. But anyway, the house is coming along nicely now. I'm excited to pop into game and show you what it looks like because I think it turned out really cute. I kind of want to play here, which I know sounds ridiculous because like why would- <laughs> Why would you want to do that? But I feel very tempted to make a sim that just loves Christmas and like come in and, and just game <laughs> Don't worry by the way. I don't have a ton of Christmas videos planned. I am gonna make one more I'm gonna try and make a house that's shaped like a Christmas tree, but I won't like spam you with Christmas content this week Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I just wanted to celebrate a little bit as a treat for me I need I needed this. I don't have this tree up for nothing. Okay <laughs> we, we had to take advantage of our moment and build something cool. All right I want to show you what I've worked on here. This, by the way, is one of the, like, default sims that you can get in cast. She looks just like me. <laughs> if I had slightly longer hair, she looks just like me. Anyway, this is the house. I want to show it to you at nighttime. Because look at those lights. I went maybe a little bit overboard with lights, but I think it looks really good. I'm just- I am obsessed with this house. I think it's so much fun. I didn't know too much what to do with the side yard, so I put another big tree and like a big snowman and a little fire pit. Obviously we have the presents that are all covered in snow. But then when you come inside, there's a little entryway. We got a bathroom here. The kitchen has like a whole bump out specifically for the tree. There's actually a tree in like every room, to be honest. Um, there's four just downstairs. The green and red is just absolutely horrifying. Like look at how much the rooms are. Look at this dining room. Like, what? oh my god. We got a little living room down here. I even put carpet because I, I like the idea of having more green touches. I love the rocking chairs in the back on the porch, by the way. Nice touch. <laughs> I built this. Why am I talking about it like that? And then there's three bedrooms upstairs. One that's like Santa's bedroom, you know, garland everywhere. We got a, an ensuite bathroom. We have one more bedroom. You can't really get into the rooms because the garland blocks the door, but I figured it garland was more important than doors. So <laughs> I hung up the garland anyway. We've got another bathroom here and then we have that kid's bedroom I was talking about with all the toys. And of course the blurfy that is made for throwing down the stairs. I really enjoy building this house. I love making silly things. I think especially because this house is objectively really weird and like really dumb. But I think it still looks kind of good. Which is what makes it so funny to me is that I like tried so hard for something so useless. <laughs> like I spent like three hours on this. And for what? And to be honest, I think at the end of the day, like it's it's almost not the same house, it isn't supposed to be the same house, but I think you can really see the vibes of the Grand Floridian's gingerbread house in ours. So I'm not complaining. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate it. I'm gonna go bake some cookies now. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. I don't want Christmas to end because I don't want to take my Christmas tree down. I really like how it looks in the background of my videos. The lights are so fun.